What is this? And can you make soup out of this? A young man was walking. He walked and he walked. He walked all night and he walked all day. He was tired. <sighs> and he was hungry. At last, he came to a big house. <sighs> what a fine house, the young man said. There will be plenty of food for me here. And so, he knocked on the door. Who came to open the door? It's a little old lady. Eee. Oh, good lady, said the young man. I am very hungry. Can you give me something to eat? I have nothing to give you, said the little old lady. I have nothing in my house. I have nothing in the garden. And so she began to close the door. Stop, the young man said. If you will not give me something to eat, um, will you, will you give me a stone? Hmm? A stone, said the little old lady. What will you do with a stone? You cannot eat a stone. Ah, oh, said the young man. I can mix soup from the stone. Now, the little old lady had never heard something like that. Soup from a stone. Fancy that. Hmm, there are stones in the road, said the little old lady. And so the young man picked up a round grey stone. Hmm, this stone will make good soup. Now, get me a pot. So the little old lady got a pot. Fill the pot with water and put it on the fire, said the young man. The little old lady did as she told, and soon the water was bubbling in the pot. Bloop, bloop, bloop. The young man put the round grey stone into the pot. Bloop. Now, we will have to wait for the stone to cook into soup, he said. The pot bubbled and bubbled. Bloop, bloop, bloop. After a while, the little old lady said, This soup is cooking fast. It is cooking fast now. It'll cook faster with some onions, said the hungry young man. And so the little old lady went to the garden to get some yellow onions. Hmm. Into the pot went the yellow onions and the brown gray stone. Hmm. Sip from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. The pot bubbled and bubbled. Bloop, bloop, bloop. After a while, the little old lady said, Ah, this soup smells good now. It smells good now, said the hungry young man. But it will smell better with some carrots. And so, the little old lady went out to the garden and pulled out all the carrots she could get. Into the pot went the long thin carrots and the yellow onions and the brown grey stone. Mm, sip from a stone. Fancy that, said the little old lady. The pot bubbled and bubbled. Bloop, bloop, bloop. After a while, the little old lady said, Ah, this soup tastes good. It tastes good now, said the hungry young man, but it will taste better with some beef bones. So the little old lady went to get some juicy beef bones. Into the pot went some juicy beef bones and the long thin carrots and the yellow onions and the round grey stone. Sip from a stone, said the little old lady. Fancy that. The pot bubbled and bubbled. Bloop, bloop, bloop. After a while, the little old lady said, Ah, this soup is fit for a prince.
It is fit for a prince now," said the hungry young man. "But it will be fit for a king. It's a bit of pepper and a handful of salt." So the little old lady went to get the pepper and the salt. Into the pot went a bit of pepper and a handful of salt and the juicy beef bones and the long thin carrots and the yellow onions and the round grey stone. Sip from a stone. Fancy that," said the little old lady. The pot bubbled and bubbled. Bloop, bloop, bloop. After a while, the little old lady said, "Ah, this is too thin. It is too thin now," said the hungry young man. "But it will be nice and thick with some butter and barley." So the little old lady went to get butter and barley. Into the pot went some butter and barley. With a bit of pepper and a handful of salt and a juicy beef bones and a long thin carrots and a yellow onions and a round grey stone. Sip from a stone. Fancy that," said the little old lady. The pot bubbled and bubbled. Bloop, bloop, bloop. After a while, the little old lady tasted the soup again. <sniffs> ah, that is good soup," she said. "Yes," said the hungry young man. "The soup is fit for a king, and now we will eat it." Stop! Why? Why did the little old lady ask the young man to stop? Hmm. This soup is indeed fit for the king, and now. I will set a table fit for a king, and so she took out her best paper cloth and her best dishes. Then the little old lady and the hungry young man ate all the soup. The soup made from the butter and barley, and a bit of pepper and a handful of salt, and the juicy beef bones, and the long thin carrots, and the yellow onions, and the round. Gray stone, sip from a stone. Fancy that," said the little old lady. Now I must get on my way," said the young man. He took the stone out of a pot and put it into his pocket. Why are you taking the stone?" asked the little old lady. Well, the stone is not cooked enough. I will have to cook it some more tomorrow. And the young man said goodbye. He walked and he walked. Ah, <sighs> what a fine supper I will have tomorrow! <laughs> Sit on the stone. Fancy that. <laughs>